So, to celebrate his daughter's birthday, Dad bought her favorite dollhouse. But one day, when the little girl came home from school, she noticed something off about the dollhouse. On the living room table, there was a creepy doll head out of nowhere. The Smith couple, who should be lying down in the bedroom upstairs, were now sitting up, looking worried. Even their son Ethan, who was playing the guitar, had a scared expression, curled up on the couch. Even the toy dog seemed to have been moved and was staring intently at the living room. Who messed with her toys? Following the gaze of the toy dog, the little girl discovered that the doll head had fallen on the floor again, with red liquid on it that hadn't dried yet. Too realistic, isn't it? Just as she was wondering, her mom's voice suddenly came from downstairs. Turns out, the mother and daughter were getting ready to go out to see a movie. She quickly closed the dollhouse and left with her clothes. Soon, it was evening, and they returned home. Just as they stepped inside, the little girl eagerly ran to the bedroom to check if the dollhouse had changed. Sure enough, when she opened it, the dolls had moved again. The couple stood at the staircase, looking horrified at the living room, and the doll head had appeared on the sofa. The toy dog was now standing outside, peering through the window into the room. The timid son hid in the dining room, secretly observing the movements of the doll head. However, when the little girl shifted her gaze back to the living room, the couple at the staircase had disappeared, and the doll head on the sofa was nowhere to be found. When she closed the dollhouse and went to the back, she discovered the head in the bedroom on the second floor. Various strange occurrences made the little girl suddenly realize that the dollhouse was haunted. Terrified, she lay on her bed, staring at the dollhouse in front of her, deciding to help this family get through this ordeal. So, early the next morning, accompanied by her mother, the little girl went to the toy store and bought a police doll. Back home, she placed the doll in the dollhouse, hoping that this family would receive help from the police. Even during dinner, the little girl didn't forget to pray for them. The couple, thinking their daughter was saying a pre-dinner prayer, joined in as well. The little girl returned to her bedroom to find that the police were already taking action, preparing to search the attic. The little girl cheered them on from outside, hoping the police would find that head. Perhaps sensing something unusual, her father also entered the room. However, the little girl didn't reveal what had happened. But after her father left, a horrifying event occurred. The police fell from the attic, and his head was missing. Oh my god. Seeing the terrified doll family, the little girl began searching for the head's whereabouts. Finally, in the mirror of the second floor bathroom, she spotted the head. Stay away from the Smith Smiths. Stay away from me too. Quickly diving under her covers, it seemed that professional matters required a professional touch. So, she returned to the toy store to buy a doll priest. However, the store owner informed her that they didn't have such dolls and suggested checking a church. What do you need them for? I need something spiritual. Listening to the little girl's words, the owner recommended a Native American chief, claiming his spiritual power surpassed even that of a priest. Trusting that the chief could handle these creepy things, the little girl believed he would defeat the head. After placing the doll, she joined her parents on the first floor to watch a movie, but her mind was still concerned about the Smith family. When her parents fell asleep, the little girl hurried to the bedroom, eager to know the outcome. The chief had begun searching, but by now, the head was no longer in the mirror. The little girl joined in the search. Soon, the chief arrived in the bedroom. Suddenly, the flashlight started flickering, and in the blink of an eye, the chief's upper body extended out of the window. Had the head already left the room? As the little girl checked, a horrifying scene unfolded. The chief's arms and head were gone. When she looked back into the room, she was horrified to see the head preparing to attack the Smith family. Anxious, she tried to warn them, but her voice disturbed the neighbor, so she quickly ran to bed, pretending to be asleep. Faced with her mother's inquiries, the little girl remained silent. After her mother left, she got up to check. Unfortunately, the couple was lying on the ground, having met the same gruesome fate. However, she didn't find Ethan's body. The little girl started searching, hoping Ethan had escaped. Sadly, no miracle occurred. Her son's body had also been taken over by the head. In anger, the little girl removed the head, threw it to the ground, and quickly dived back under the covers. But upon second thought, she couldn't let this thing stay in the house. Who knows what terrible things might happen? When she found the head under the bed, she was horrified to discover it had turned from a small head into a big one. Terrified, she hastily took the head out and stuffed it back into the dollhouse. The little girl, fear written all over her face, stood aside, praying that this thing would never appear again. 
Moreover, she vowed never to ask for this dollhouse again. The next morning, she asked her parents to move the dollhouse out. Her dad was puzzled, wondering why she didn't want it anymore. The little girl remained silent, but her parents decided to give the dollhouse to the neighbor next door. The neighbor was delighted to receive it, planning to gift it to her granddaughter. Little did she know how sinister this dollhouse was.